how to train in gi and no gi at the same time. A lot of people say that if you want to be the best in no gi, you have to train just in no gi. And if you want to be the best in gi, you have to just train in gi. I believe that, that's true. If you definitely, definitely, if you want to be the best in no gi, you have to just focus on no gi only, all right? But me personally, I'm not trying to be the best in no gi or in gi. I'm just trying to have a good time, learn some jujitsu, learn how to defend myself, okay? But let's kind of go over some things here. Cause like in nogi, there's a lot of stuff that works really good in nogi, but it doesn't work in gi and vice versa, okay? So let's go over some of that kind of stuff. Like, so if we're talking nogi, wrestling's super powerful in nogi. Um, reaping, reaping's actually legal, same with heel hooks, head arm chokes. Head arm chokes are very powerful in nogi. Head arm chokes are actually hard to get in the gi because when you start going to choke someone with the head arm, when you bunch up your elbow, you actually get all this extra like padding. It's actually hard to like get in there and get it super tight. So, you know, head arm chokes are just really good for nogi. Um, not saying I actually had a teammate that did really well with Darces and gi, but you know, that we're talking about like a one percenter here. Um, Arm drags are very powerful in no gi, butterfly guard, uh, knee slice passing, um, half guard passing, um, quarter guard passing, all very good for no gi, okay? And, uh, and those aren't really good for gi, you know? So let's go over in gi, like moves that are really good just for gi, and we're talking about more like judo. Yeah, like wrestling and judo, you could like mix them together, but for the most part, got Del Hiva, the Dela Hiva guard, you want to play in gi, but you do not want to play in no gi just because of the foot locks alone. Um, you got your straight foot lock, that's legal. Uh, bow and arrow, gi chokes, those are kind of the same thing, but you know, you don't have the gi in no gi, so you can't even work them. Um, you know, you got your folding pass, which is like, kind of like that, like the weird half guard pass. If you do that in no gi, you're gonna end up in like a game over entanglement and get heel hooked. Um, lapel drags, lapel drags are awesome because the lapel is connected to the head, drag them, you got a lot of power over the person. Spider guard, great guard for no uh, gi, but really hard to play in no gi because you just don't have the grips. Um, bottom half guard is powerful. You got a lot of powerful sweeps from bottom half guard. Bottom half guard in no gi, you'll end up getting uh, foot locked a lot. Same thing with bottom quarter guard, you're just, giving yourself a lot of foot locks and bottom quarter guard. Powerful in gi, but you don't want to do it in no gi, okay? So over the years, I kind of figure out what moves work good with both, and then that's just kind of like my game right now. I really don't do too much uh, predominantly gi stuff or no gi stuff because I'm always switching. Throughout the week, I'm doing gi and no gi, and I don't want to be like grabbing thin air and no gi trying to grab a lapel. So I came up with like this, okay? So with my takedowns, it's all upper body takedowns. I almost never do a single leg, double leg. You're dropping your head too much, giving yourself kimuras, head chokes, and stuff like that. So I try to do like a lot of upper body wrestling, judo moves in, my, in both, just gi and no gi, because they just work. Uh, single leg X, that's almost reaping the knee, but not. You could work single leg X awesome in uh, gi and no gi. It's just a powerful guard. I mean, if you're not working single leg X, you're really not even doing jujitsu yet. Um, knee bar and toe holds, these are legal. You could, if you're a brown belt or above, but you could do these in gi, you could do these in no gi. So knee bar and toe holds, uh, rear naked choke and guillotines. These are probably the two most powerful uh, uh, gi choke, uh, goat chokes. You could literally do these in the gi and no gi. So just get really good at them. Close guard. Close guard's fundamental. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna be using that as a white belt to black belt, gi, no gi. Go, close guard is mount. You just wanna get good at it. Uh, half guard, half guard is good if you're on top for uh, gi, I mean, uh, on bottom, but half guard is good. Um, you gotta be careful with half guard and no gi. You could, get, you could get in a lot of foot locks if you're playing on bottom, but if I'm passing, I want to be on top of uh, half guard. So that's kind of why it's kind of tricky there for both. Uh, knee slice, that's kind of like my, my half guard passing style. I'm always trying to step in between the legs. 
If my foot goes outside your leg while I'm trying to pass, chances are you're gonna get me in single leg X. So I'm always trying to do like a knee slice or find half guard when I pass. So same thing, you don't wanna be on the bottom of that. Um, arm drags, um, arm drags are powerful because the guy always, almost always has an arm, you know? Like in gi, you don't have, or in no gi, you don't have the lapel. So it's always just good to just get used to arm dragging instead of grabbing that lapel. Um, foot sweeps, takedowns, I love them. Low risk, high reward, you can do them in gi, no gi, just works. And they're great setups for other takedowns. And top quarter guard, I love top quarter guard. Gi, no gi, you got a lot of foot locks, you got a lot of Kimura roll, uh, traps, you got head arm chokes, darces, gi chokes. So this whole game here is like kind of like what I work with because this stuff here, you, you get lost in no gi, and this stuff here, you get lost in gi. So what I'm trying to say is just work on stuff that you're gonna be able to use both, okay? And then that's how you're gonna really have fun and then you're gonna be able to go to the, that open mat that's gi and then you're gonna be able to do that no gi tournament over there. Um, you're not gonna really like close yourself out on a certain style. So I hope this helps on deciding if you should do no gi, gi or both.